for you to do tomorrow after the NFL draft on KMIZ. Whoa, what's the hurry? It's a big day. The new arrivals are in at JC Mattress and Furniture Showrooms. The excitement of it all. <laughs> Breaking news on ABC 17 News this morning. In the last two hours, one person was arrested after hitting a Columbia student walking to the school bus. Thanks for joining us. I'm Molly Stawanoga. That crash happened just before 730 at the Blue Acres Mobile Home Park when a car reportedly ran through a bus's stop arm. ABC 17's Ben Fine is there gathering information and we'll get out to him for the newest details in just a minute. But first, ABC 17 storm track forecaster Matty Ast is tracking some rain and storms moving through mid Missouri. Now, Maddie, you definitely don't want to forget that umbrella as you head out the door. That's right, Molly. We're going to be dealing with this rainfall for the next 30 to 36 hours, and it's going to unfortunately have a huge impact on the rest of today and into early tomorrow. Here's what we're looking at with the radar. You can see maybe a little bit of a uh, system here in Moberly. Uh, doesn't look like my radar is working very well but we can just play with what we have. A lot of moisture up in our northern counties and some spot showers everywhere else, but it's what's to our south that we're keeping a close eye on. That's where that boundary is setting up. I'll have more about that boundary, but what you need to know is it's just going to be raining. You're going to want to have your rain boots and your umbrella because we're going to be seeing a lot of rainfall, totaling a lot of accumulations, giving us concerns for flooding. I'll have more coming up in my first full forecast in just a few minutes. Now back to that breaking news this morning. Boone County Sheriff's deputies arrested one person after they allegedly hit a nine-year-old child getting on a bus. ABC 17's Ben Fine has been at that scene all morning. Now, Ben, deputies say they do not have any reason to believe that child has any serious injuries. Molly, some good news there for sure. I watched as that child got out of an ambulance right here behind me and was helped to a car to go get medical treatment. That child was limping, but he appeared to be okay. Now, take a look at your screen now. This is what the scene looked like just about an hour ago. You'll see the black Lexus in that video. That is the car that struck the child. Now, since I got on the scene this morning, I've seen police speaking with witnesses, taking pictures, and just collecting evidence from this scene. Now, this is an ongoing investigation. Be sure to stay tuned both on air and online at abc17news.com. We will bring you the latest updates as soon as we get them. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Ben Fine, ABC 17 News. Thanks so much, Ben. Now, CPS spokesperson Michelle Baumstark told us the car allegedly ran the bus's stop arm. Baumstark also told us she'll likely have some more details shortly.